so that's the piece. It's going to be going to Hong Kong at some point. I'm not sending it yet because the customer wants me to possibly do something something more. So we're going to see what we work together and figure out and then maybe make another piece. And if not, I'll still be working on something tonight or tomorrow. What's up, dude? Hey. So we decided to take a walk in the park and it's very, very nice out today. It's like nine degrees and it yeah. wasn't supposed to be sunny, but now it is. And so we decided to take a stroll. So Tammy does this weird witch looking thing. It's that she not does. weird. It's not it's weird. It's fucking weird. And basically she tries to do this like giraffe <laughs> wavy thing to call squirrels. And honestly, it as weird as it works, is, it, it, works. it works sometimes. So that time it didn't work. But if we find another squirrel, we're gonna try and get it to work. It's really actually pretty cool. And they come like right up to your feet. Yo, this skate park is sick. Because I used to come here when I was like 11 and 12. And then I came back here a couple times with my friends when I was like 15. And now I'm scoping it out to see if I can find a spot that I might be able to sneak some artwork in one time soon. And it looks like it's possible based on what's here. Oh, it's pretty rough though. It's probably good on there. It's really dirty though. Yeah. Look, it's like shitty art now. Yo, they have my favorite fucking milkshake. If you guys ever see this milkshake right here, you need to buy it. It's so fucking, oh, it's so good. Okay, we are home and I just want to express to you guys one more time how fucking amazing this goddamn fucking milkshake is, man. It's so good. Back home from our walk and I have a sketch finished up and I'm waiting for dude to answer and we're gonna see what happens from there. I might have to make some adjustments, but check it out. So here's how it looks. He wanted like Donald Duck punching Pluto in the face or something, but that's kind of hard. So I figured if it looks like he just finished punching him in the face, it might be cool. So I don't know, I'm waiting to see what the guy thinks and uh, I'm gonna make some adjustments based on that. So it's 12, 14. Dude bro guy man hasn't answered yet, so I decided to finally just kick my ass and start doing the painting. So everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people have asked me to do a Courage the Cowardly Dog painting, painting piece and why am I talking weird? Anyways, yeah, <laughs> I'm working on that now. Okay, so I got some stuff done on this painting, but I have to go do a job interview today. So that's kind of cool. Not gonna tell you where. If I get the job, I'll tell you where. All right, so we're back from the interview. Felt pretty good. It's time to start painting.
saw me go over the purple background and cover it in complete black, it's because I made a mistake, as you probably noticed. I tried to use my Molotel like watercolor graphics aqua markers, which I never use and don't like, but figured I'd give them a shot, and the black just... I tried to do like a drip effect, didn't work out well, so I basically took some tissue and wiped it off and went over it with regular black Molotel paint, and uh, yeah, that's why I did that, because it looked bad, so... As you'll see in a lot of videos, what happens is I'll use a color and then if I switch the color and just don't say anything, it's because I honestly just didn't like the color. It's not a big deal. I mean, you just change it. So yeah, anyway, here's how it looks. Really, really cool. Really happy with it. I'm wearing sunglasses and so I feel like I match the coolness. But anyway, really happy with it. The only uh, issue I have is if you go into the sunlight, I don't know if I can get this to work with you guys. Maybe I can't. Oh, 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 right there. See that? You see the shine? You see how it's all textured in the black area? That's because I was being lazy and tried to get it done fast and didn't care enough. So I'm gonna end up probably keeping this painting for myself because, yeah. But for everybody who requested this uh, piece to be done, I hope you liked it. I hope it's good enough. I hope you're satisfied with how it looks. I didn't want to go all out. I kind of just wanted to keep it like pretty simple. So it's Saturday and I realized that I've done three or four paintings and I need to hang them up. So. Time to make some adjustments. Alright, so it's done and it looks super, super dope. I'm really, really happy with this wall. I think it looks crisp. Uh, basically what I wanted to do was adjust everything, adjust all my paintings, move them around a little bit and make space for more because I've never gone this hard into doing paintings to the point where I've had like a painting every two days coming out. I'm literally pushing myself to make sure I do paintings quickly, efficiently and still obviously as, as quality level as I usually do. So the reason I'm doing that is because I'm pushing my YouTube channel, I'm pushing my new Instagram channel now, which sucks. And of course I'm just trying to push some sales and you know get out there as an artist more so as I said I was trying to clear up the space just to get ready for more because next week give me more stuff all right so I think that's the end of the vlog I'm gonna go play some video games now and actually enjoy my weekend for the first time in probably three or four months so here's a last look at the wall real quick and like comment subscribe all that good stuff leave any questions if you have any um, I'll see you guys probably I'm going to say Tuesday, if not Wednesday, for another video.